All right, in this video, I'm going over page 238 in the Go Math textbook. Again, if you don't have it out, get it out now. Follow along. Uh, you may want to use this conversion chart, but again, my favorite is this chart. Oh man, it makes everything so easy. Um, so again, I would want this chart with me at all times because man, it makes things so much easier. All right, metric units. The amount of matter in an object is called the mass. Metric units of mass are related by powers of 10, just like all metric units of length and uh, mass and <coughs> whatever it may be. Uh, that's the nice thing about the metric unit, just powers of 10. So one way, use a conversion factor, just like we were using conversion factors for the pounds and ounces. We can do the same thing with uh, metric units as well. So it says, Kareem caught a trout with a mass of 2,570 2, grams, excuse me. What was the mass of the trout in centigrams? What was the mass in kilograms? So we're doing it twice here, we have two questions. All right. Uh, so 2,570 grams, we want to change it to centigrams. 100 centigrams equals 1 gram. And since we want to change it to centigrams, we want our centigrams on top. So 100 centigrams is 1 gram. And so we set up our conversion rate. Um, we multiply it by 2,570, the number we started with, and that's the same thing as multiplying it by 2,570 over 1. Cross simplify our grams, and where did I get 100 over 1? From right here, our, uh, that's our rate. We wanted centigrams, so that's why centigrams are on top. Okay, And then now we can just multiply straight across. So what we're left with, 1 times 1 is just 1 on the bottom, which anything, any fraction that has 1 on the bottom, the numerator is just the answer, the whole number. So really, we just need to find 2,570 times 100. Okay. <clears throat> and really, that's just like multiplying by 1 and then adding the two zeros that I'm not, that I'm ignoring right now. So 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 7 is 7, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2. Add my two zeros and I have my answer. 257,000 centigrams. 257,000 centigrams. Okay. Now, another way is to use this fancy schmancy chart, which is my favorite way of doing it. Uh, recall that metric units are related to each other by factors of 10. As you go this way, you're multiplying by 10. As you go this way, you're dividing by 10. So, uh, 2,570 grams to kilograms. So we're starting at grams, and we're going up to kilograms. So I write the number. 2,500, whoops, 2,570. I want to go from grams to kilograms, so I need to go over one, two, three to get there. So I move my decimal over one, two, three, which would make my new number 2.57, and I can drop off that zero at the back if I want, but if I add it, it doesn't change the value of my number. So 2.57 kilograms, or two and 57 hundredths kilograms. All right, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.